We started our knife crime campaign as a result of the Make Your Mark 2018 votes. Uh, the Make Your Mark 2018 votes were held and the top, in, the top option in central Bedfordshire was the um, going against knife crime and trying to prevent it. Um, in March of 2019, um, a girl called Jodie Chesney was stabbed in Essex, which acted as a catalyst for our campaign. Um, Jodie's favourite colour was purple, and that is where the purple ribbon came about. In October 2018, Youth Voice attended a conference in Northampton where Richard Denton and other police officers came to talk to us about knife crime and the effects it had on the people, the community and their families of the victims and the perpetrators and showed us videos that kind of shocked us into wanting to do more around that campaign. After we discussed with the police, we had a meeting next month and we decided to try out some new ideas to help us to push forward the campaign and just to make sure that everyone to fight against this rise in knife crime. Sadly, in the end of April in House and Regis, a boy was stabbed in, in the Bedford Square shopping centre and, uh, and this caused rifts in the community. Some people were fearing they're going out like around 4pm afterwards because they feared that they would get stabbed as well. So we decided to do an offence in Bedford Square. So for this offence, we decided to contact councillors from Central Bedfordshire Council and to come to the event and to give talks and we also even contacted Jodie Chesley's family and they started using the purple ribbon which has been used around Essex because purple was Jodie's favourite colour and the, rib and the ribbon symbol peace against knife crime and saying so it's shown that you're against it and we have contacted them and, and asked if we could adopt this for the ha for House and Regis for the event and they, and they did allow us and that's how we started using the purple ribbon in all of our Events since. In June 2019, we attended Cheer and Volunteering with our Youth Voice, uh, where we promoted our knife crime campaign. This was picked up on by Councillor Maudlin and the Chief of the Fire Department, uh, and they both raised us up on stage and gave us our first small donation. In July 2019, we went to the Children's and Families Fund Day to promote our campaign with children and families. And in August 2019, we spoke to Jodie Chesney's father, Peter, who wanted our opinions on knife crime, and he also shared his experience alongside us. We've teamed up with Bedford Borough Youth Council, uh, and we've had some meetings with them, uh, just to highlight the issues around knife crime with some events. We've held a bake sale in the uh, Central Beds Council Chambers to raise money for the Jodie Chesney Foundation which is a foundation on the principle of preventing knife crime. And it was a massive success and we raised £485. On the recent Make Your Mark ballot in 2019, knife, knife crime came out top two. And um, we are continuing our Bedford meetings to achieve a shared goal. Um, we are also working with community safety teams and holding different events to improve our, the safety on our streets. And we are working with the CSE coordinator around putting on events in other towns. And the first one is due to be in February 2020. In terms of the effects and the impact that our work has done, we um, met with local MPs, um, Andrew Salou and Alistair Burt, to discuss knife crime and what we want to do to tackle it. And uh, following this, Alistair no, Andrew Salou has stood up in Parliament and asked, raised the issue and asked the government what they are doing to combat and tackle knife crime. With the knife crime campaign, we have managed to bring together um, lots of organisations and people such as councillors, the police and fire department, which is very difficult to do. By simply raising awareness for knife crime, we hope to make people feel safer so they no longer feel the need to carry a knife in the first place, overall creating a domino effect, reducing knife crime overall.